Hey guys, thanks for joining me for a Silhouette Sunday video. And I want to say that this is the first Silhouette Sunday video of 2018, even though it's July, but it's not. I think I did make some videos this year for Silhouette Sunday before I ended up taking my hiatus. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make mock-ups or samples using Silhouette Studio and how to make them look a little more realistic. This actually was a question that I was asked a few weeks ago by someone and I had to help them via email because I really didn't have time to make a video. But the problems that she was encountering wasn't the actual making the mock-up part because making mock-ups and examples in Silhouette Studio is actually really easy. It was the details of making it look like it wasn't a mock-up, making it look like it wasn't a fake image or a, a, a digital image that she had placed on a shirt. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, essentially a mock-up is where you take your cut file or the image that you're going to produce and you layer it on top of a garment or the back of a car if you're doing like a decal for a sticker. You basically take an image of what you're going to use or what you're going to be producing and you put the digital layer on top. Mockups are really great if you run a um, Etsy store and you need to make a lot of different designs and share them, but you don't wanna actually produce them in advance. They're also really good if you're making something for someone else and you want to send them a picture of what something looks like in terms of size or um, proportion so they get a better visual of what you're going to produce before you produce it. So having said that, the first thing I'm going to show you is actually the image that I took. So I have three tabs here open. And if you go to the first one, <clears throat> it actually does have the image um, of a shirt and shorts and sunglasses, like a pre-done image that I took. I laid out these clothes on a backdrop. I took a picture of it and imported it into Silhouette Studio. And to do that, all you have to do is go and click file and then open and you just open that image and it opens up. The next thing you, you will need is your actual design. So here you can see the design that I have here. It says, find me at the pool. This is a design that is pre-made. I got it from Hoop Mama Designs, which I will link down below in the description box. And in her files, she actually does provide an image that is pre-colored in. So if you look here, you'll see it pre-colored. And here is just the cut lines. From here on out, you're going to follow similar steps. If you designed this image yourself or this design yourself, what you're going to do is take the time to color it in. So what you'll do is you'll select each portion of your design, you'll go to the paint palette and you'll fill it in with whatever color you wanna use. So let's say I want this portion to be this dark gray and then perhaps I want this next portion to be a dark blue and then I want this to be a lighter blue, so on and so forth. You would go through and you would take the time to fill in the coloring effectively on your image to match how you want it to look. The second part is you're going to select the entire design and actually see I missed a part right here. So let's fill that in. Then you're going to select your entire design. You're going to go to the line color option where you see this little stripe of colors and you're going to turn off the red cut line and you can see it here. This is what it typically looks like, but for a mock-up, we don't want that. We're gonna take that cut line away. And that's how you would color in an image that you created yourself or design that you created yourself. Now, like I mentioned before, I could use this one, but I'm actually going to use the sample that came with the file here. You All you have to do to make your mock-up is cut and paste this design that's already colored in, even if you color it or you got it somewhere else colored in. The only important part is that it's actually a cut file or an SVG file. You can also use PNG files, but those are more difficult sometimes to recolor in Silhouette Studio. So I recommend SVG or the actual cut file. So this is the cut file that's colored in that the lines are turned off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and copy it. And then I'm gonna to go to that image that I took a picture of already and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select paste. And it's going to bring that image in, but the image is going to be huge. So we're just gonna close this to get it out of the way. And now I can go and take this and I can size it down to something that's more realistic to what would be on the front of this garment. So 
this would be roughly the size I would cut this at here and I can take it and move it and tilt it so that it matches the shirt. But one thing that my eye gets drawn to right away is that the coloring is off. So what I'm going to do is just drag this out of the way so I don't accidentally select it, make it a little bit bigger again so that I can work with it and change the colors so that they match the picture better or so that they match the colors of material that I actually have. And if you know the color code of your vinyl or if you can take a picture of your vinyl and get color samples from it, it'll give you a more realistic coloring because this color is very vibrant compared to these shorts. And that might be a turnoff for you looking at your own image. So I'm going to right click and ungroup this. And I'm going to recolor this image to something that looks a little better with this picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is on my find, let's say I want this to be a little darker. So I'll select a darker gray. Then my black in the me, that looks fine. It's a little bit more vibrant than this, but it's not that far off, so we could leave it. And then where I have my at the pool, I'm just going to click on it. And because these two are grouped together, the color change will happen together. I'm going to take my eyedropper tool and change it to maybe the darkest color in these shorts. And let's say I had vinyl that color. And then the water waves, same thing. I'm going to click this and select maybe the color of these glasses. There's a light teal color in there. So I can take this now, group it back together and put it back on my document or back on my, my mock-up, I should say. And this looks a little more realistic in some ways than the bright, vivid colors that you often have when you, you use the straight palette here or you use the colors that you get with the mock-up file. Also, this gives you the opportunity to take the image that you have and match it to the actual materials that you're going to use to produce the shirt. So that is how you make a mock-up in Silhouette Studio. The next thing you'll need to do is basically get an image of what you have here on screen. And you can do that by using a screenshot tool or a snipping tool or by printing, um, doing a print screen and then cropping that image down. Um, how you do that is all dependent on your computer system and what you have available to you. But this is how you make the mock-up in Silhouette Studio. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them for me down below. And as always, thanks for watching.